Mediterranean dream there with this dish, and you were going to show us how to make the bass uh, extra crispy. It's all about the bass. It's like, this, all about the bass. This is one of my favorite, favorite dishes in the world. So this is Branzino, so European sea bass. Yep. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to season the skin. Crispy skin is critical when you're cooking fish. And right. like working at Oma, working at different restaurants, if you can't crisp the skin on the fish, then you know, you can't really see Get out of the kitchen well, it's or like, something like that. If, if the skin is on, it's gotta be crispy. What right. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a glove. Okay, Just because so this is like scientific. So pan is like just starting to smoke. So yep. for fish, that's too hot. Oh. But we're gonna roll, we're gonna oh, go well. forward. <laughs> we're gonna do so it anyway. So I'm gonna just turn it down. What, also another tip at home is like if the pan's too hot, just pull it off to the side. Right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Branzino, the sea bass, and I'm gonna lay it away from myself. Yeah, so nice and thin. Just that like that. Piece. It's very important when you're at home that you put, see how it's curling up? Yes. You have to push down on it. Oh, really? You gotta push down on it for about five or 10 seconds. There's some just, wrestling involved. <laughs> just so it, it ma oh. maintains contact, because it's gonna curl up. And okay. if you don't do this, then you're not gonna get crispy skin. Here's my question. When I do that, if I'm pushing him around like that, um, what if the skin sticks to the pan? Well, that's, That if, happens a lot. If you're doing non-stick and you put a good amount of oil, that's not gonna happen. Okay. That will not happen. All right. But, you but don't you wanna like shove it around a little bit and make sure it, no. Never mind, yeah. I don't know. You don't, you don't wanna touch it. Oh, duh, stop touching it, okay. So, so you let it go down for a while and now you leave it. And when I'm cooking fish, normally I'll always do like 90% skin side mm -hmm. and then I'll just flip it, take the pan off, like 10% on the other side, that's it. Oh, that's a good it's, tip. Yeah, very important though that okay. we season the other side. Yeah. So salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And what and we're gonna do it. is, we're, yeah, we're just gonna let this cook. Okay. And I'm going to, at the same time, I want to get like uh, some of the other ingredients prepped out here. So yeah. we have some olives here. Lovely. So we're just gonna do a rough chop. Very Mediterranean. Yes. Like unbelievable flavors in this. And it's so simple. All you need to do is just get these ingredients prepped out, like capers, the roasted garlic, etc. Everything, it's the oil, it's all of the things that are gonna make your skin, your hair, your nails uh, look strong and healthy. That's um, it. And also longevity, like this is just good for life. They say everyone should be on the Mediterranean diet, right? That's it. It's so the way to eat. I'm gonna take this out because I wanna get started on what we're gonna do for the sauce. So okay? that's it, we're done. It's not that complicated. The, not that complicated. You just and gotta follow I'm, a few rules. I'm also the kind of guy, like I'm never gonna cook fish through fully. Yeah. I always want it like 75% cooked because I'm right. just crazy like that. Well, you're a chef. So what we're gonna do is. <laughs> Most of you are like that. I get it. <laughs> right into the pan. Yeah. This is so, so simple and I want everyone to do this this summer because it's so easy. Cherry oh, yeah, tomatoes. Yep, yeah, so tomatoes, we want high, high heat. And then we're gonna drop in some capers as well. Ooh, I love capers. Yeah. capers if you love going. that saltiness. I love the brine. And I like yeah. a lot of capers too. Okay. I have a lot, some butter on there, butter's gonna go in. Why not? Why not, right? And then also we have roasted garlic, so I'm gonna put in mm. some of that oil. It's and the maybe same roasted garlic we use for the watermelon. Use same it again one. for this. Maybe a couple cloves too. Yeah. Make some friends. Okay. <laughs> Why not? And then we're gonna add in a good amount of butter. Probably like enough butter for the week. Okay. Wow! If you are a woman looking to get the affection of Dev, come up to him, roll up to him with garlic breath. That's it. Like you just downed this whole dish and he will fall in love. He likes that. But how good does this smell though? Can it you guys smell that? It smells amazing. It's so, so they good. They can't smell through the TV, but trust me, it smells really good. <laughs> so all this is is cherry tomatoes, the capers, the roasted garlic. It's so, so simple. Yeah. And what we're going to do is, I have a bowl here. Okay. Once this is ready to go. It's and you're not leaving this in very long, are you? Because no. you're not about making everything turn into mush. You're just, you want it coated with oil. You want it warmed just, through. Yeah, just, just heating it through. That's all we're doing here. I'm going to add in some arugula, and it's going to get wilted. Yeah. Okay, and we'll just give this a couple tosses. And then what we're gonna do is this is gonna go into our bowl here. See how okay. I played that one really nice and pretty mm -hmm. like 20 minutes ago? That's gorgeous. <laughs> I like it. And you're letting your fish sit at the yeah. same time. And the fish is like still like just, just barely cooked through. But yeah, I find that that's a difficult thing to do and that's why, I mean, this is how everybody wants their fish to be. You want that crispy side. Definitely. Keep more of the cooking on the crispy side. Make sure the pan is hot but not too hot. And press it down. You have to press and the fish down. And wrestle with it. That's the most surprising thing. You don't have to. You have wrestle to push it. it around. 
And what we'll so do is... So aggressive. And this guy goes right on top. But look how simple this is. Look how pretty it is. Like, it's it smells so, 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 so good. And yeah. I love it. It's one of my favorite, favorite dishes. It's using the freshest ingredients, and that will always make the difference. And I know that yeah. you are 100% about that.